All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to beat the Riffin versus Yorick matchup. Um, for this matchup, I would always recommend, first of all, starting off with Conquer. Um, then you want to take the Classic Runes, as always. Um, and then you want to take Transcendence with Gathering Storm in this matchup. Now, to make the matchup easier, I would definitely recommend picking a Dorn Shield because um, Yorick is the kind of uh, champion. It's going to poke you like crazy and... It's going to hurt. If you take the Dorn Shield, you're basically becoming stronger in the laning phase because you have more HP. And you will always be able to block the uh, and tank a little bit of the damage you receive. Now, along with the Dorn Shield, I would definitely always recommend going for Ignite in this matchup if you want to play aggro. And if you can, I would suggest you take the push at level 1 so you can maybe go for a cheese. So the level 1 is like the easiest part, like as long as he doesn't play too aggro, you can kind of do whatever you feel like doing. <clears throat> if you give uh, the Yorick like a free push um, at level 1, he becomes pretty terrifying because he will get the level 3 early. And that's gonna hurt like crazy. Place a ward down here. Ooh. Yeah, that's like the type of thing I'm talking about. So... A couple things you want to know in this matchup is that you want to sidestep uh, Yorix. I believe it's the W. The thing he can throw. If you can sidestep that one successfully, he's not going to hurt as much. Um, another thing, if Yorick presses the wall, you want to have your dash ready at the right time. So that's going to... Try and wreck me. Oh, I didn't want to use my pod. I've accidentally used my pod. I'm not happy with that. Here we go. Oh, I got stuck in here. That's not what I was planning out to do. I was actually going to hold my dash so I could uh, just throw you out, but... I got him. So the trick against Yorick is to take it easy on him and try and sidestep like his, I believe his W is, um, every single time. And if you can do that successfully, it's not that hard to kill a Yorick. Like the thing is that you want to maintain the push you have against uh, Yorick. You don't want to, you don't want to give him the chance to like push into you, because the more waves you have by your side, um. Technically, the easier the matchup gets, right? It's like the the same concept as always. If you stack up the wave like crazy, like this, right? Like massive, and you push that into Yorick, you basically um, give yourself the chance to fight him, right? The bigger the wave, the more damage it does. So His wave is now getting crashed into mine. I like that because I can turn that back into him. Just have to avoid him for a bit. Do I get hit by these? I can proc the bone plate. So the most important thing right now is that as long as the wave is like stacked up like this, um, you definitely don't want to get caught inside his wall. And you don't want to trade him. We're going to start training him again when the wave like stacks up. Perfect. I don't want to miss that. Alright. Now we're in a good position now. So we're going to slow, uh, slow push the wave. We're going to stack it up slowly. Very, very slowly. We're just going to kind of like maintain the wave this way. Um, I'm pretty sure that Yorick is like backing right now to buy his next item, which it's not much of an issue. Perfect. So the wave is like stacked up right now, which means I'm stronger than him. Um, despite him buying an item, I'm stronger now because I'll get my level 6 sooner. He's going to throw it. Okay, I've got my Jonah with me. Could maybe try to get a catch on him, maybe. Kinda the kinda depends. Okay, not bad. Let me just put this up a little bit. There we go. 
All right, let's hard push it. I got ensured that this wave gets in. Um, this Eve is missing right now. There's a chance that she could be down here. And Yorick also got level 6 now, so... You have to be very careful here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna have to flash it. So I kind of got, like, stuck between the two walls, which forced me to, like, flash out. It's not very good. <clears throat> okay. We are going to reset here. I think... Could have maybe baited for that, but I'm not taking the risk. Okay, so I've bought a Lucidity Boots early, guys. I would definitely recommend that if you play against Yorick, because if you get more movement speed, that means you can sidestep the, the wall a lot easier. And having Lucidity Boots, you can also spam your abilities more often, which will both make it a lot easier for you. I'm going to chill out. We're, uh, we're going to be relaxing, chilling around because... Uh, once again, like the same thing like as before, you want to be stacking waves, right? The bigger you stack waves, the easier it will be to actually fight Yorick. Eve is coming topside. I'm just going to ping for her. I might have to push this early because Eve is coming topside, I'm afraid. I could try to maybe kill Eve, um, which I think is right here somewhere. Of course, the uh, Yorick is trying to freeze it. So there is a ward already. I could technically take the wave right here, but I don't think I will. Kind of depends. Okay, I think I'm going to take the wave anyway. Because otherwise it will crash on our tower. I don't want that. There we go. Yorick is pushing top again, so we're going to go back down there. Gotta be, uh, gotta be fast. I don't want this guy to get placed right now. Alright. We're in time. Like, he's not getting the place right now, so I'm happy with this. <clears throat> The uh, jungler is mostly playing it around mid lane and bot lane so far. I kind of wish we had some pressure off the jungler too, actually. Oh. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the ultimate Euro classic. Like that's what I'm talking about. If you don't sidestep the Yorick, I believe the W is. Um, he hurts like a truck. So you, you gotta sidestep it either way. Got it. I'm just gonna go for the CS here. Stuck in the wall. Yorick is not really the type of matchup that you want to be in. Uh, as for Riven. Like the early game is kind of moi. Yorick is strong. I think he's backing off because his ultimate is out. I think I'll take the chance here. Good. I'm getting the push that I was looking for. I like that. I'm gonna reset here. I hope this guy's not gonna get caught by York though. Get this one. Get this. And I suppose we could go for armor, but I don't think I will. Like I could go for like an armor one and then have a better laning phase, but I I don't do that because I want to get the uh, core drinker like ASAP, right? He's waiting for a Kino and a, and a Sheen. And I think he's going to stack up the wave again like he just did before. So I think I'm going to use the situation here. So it's going to hot push. Which means that we're going to have to go back here. So in terms of the lane, uh, we do have one kill so far. But have been unable to like snowball off on him. But it's not looking that bad because we actually got a pretty massive XP advantage. So we may have only killed him once, but the XP advantage is pretty huge. Like, we are level 9 right now. This guy is still level 8. Ah, I missed that one. Very happy with that. 
I'm going to hard push this one with the intention to maybe go for a mid roam. Just stacking waves. I highly doubt we can kill Yorick that way. Probably not. Just placing the ward like as deep as I can. I think he probably took the golem camp. Probably. They have an Eve, so my ward is kind of pointless though. I actually want to try to get a catch here. You start step to. I'll take the chance here. He basically used everything. Got him. So I've successfully sidestepped, I believe his W is or his E, I don't know, but I sidestepped both the wall and the and the thing that he throws. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with that, actually. Let's push it out of the way. Once again, we got to keep in mind that Eve could be topside and we don't want that. Yeah, that's where she is. Okay, we're getting ganked. We're about to get 1v2. Plate's not going to go down. Ah, oh, man, that's kind of unlucky. Uh, that sucks. Oh, Andy's using the ultimate to try and force me here. Okay, I cannot backboard because otherwise he will take the tower. I don't want this. Wow, this is forcing pretty hard though. I should need my Jonah here. I hope that I'm not going to get ganked by Eve right now. That would be pretty bad. Oh, I'm getting caught into this. The uh, TP is making a pretty huge difference right now. Oof, he hurts. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, that's unfortunate. The TP basically makes a difference now. Would have honestly not been that bad of a scenario if the Joner actually listened to my ping here. Like, I was pinging top lane like crazy, like the moment he would respawn. But instead of going top lane, the Joner actually decides to go bot lane, which is really strange. Like, my uh, the call I did was actually really good. Uh, all I needed was him to help a little. Ah, whatever. Not sure why the Joner is ganking ball lane. I have no idea. But he basically made us lose like multiple plates now. <clears throat> no problem. It's fine. Ooh, ball lane's actually getting stuff done. Not bad. So Eve is dead too. I don't have to worry about her. I wish I had some plates though. I don't have any plates. It's kind of sad. Push it out all the way. Let's try. He's going to try to wall this one. Yeah, pretty classic. I'm going to see if I can make a run to mid and maybe kill the... Kill the Kiana. Ooh, I don't think that she knows that I'm here. Not bad. Okay, I'm very happy with that. So we're getting another kill right now. So the kind of playstyle that I have in this game is more like a roaming sort of playstyle. Like against Yorick, it's not always about fighting Yorick and then hoping to kill him. <clears throat> but instead, like, what you want to focus on mostly is... Um, getting the pressure and then using the uh, using it to roam. Like against like hard matchups like Yorick, which is a champion designed to like get you stuck inside a wall. It's just better if you just push and roam. Sometimes it kind of depends on like the jungler pressure too. Like for instance, this game I I have zero jungle pressure. Like he does gank my lane once, but that's it. Right? It's kind of kind of useless. It's not that useful. That's nice true. Yeah, playing against Yorick is <laughs> honestly a pretty big joke. 
So it would be pretty good if my if my ADC would actually be topside now. Because we could swap and then I could make plays around the map. Last one. He's gotta try to all in me. So we have to respect him here. Yeah, we, we lost the tower, but that's just because we have absolute no jungle pressure in in a matchup which gets which gets me pushed in like every single time. But whatever. I was kind of hoping it would be slightly different, but I'm not too worried because if my Kale decides to farm top now, I can make plays around the map and then snowball. That's gonna be my goal. Choose your own path. I'm gonna head bot here. I think I can probably kill this guy. I think that Twitch is nearby, but I think I can 1v2. Oh, you splashed. That's pretty sad. I think... Oh, I'm still gonna get the kill anyway. Or... Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm getting flashed. <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> Pretty much everything, you know. I think that Eve might be here, so... We're gonna have to keep this in mind. Um, he's down there. No, don't... That Kiana is being pretty annoying, actually. I hope that my team is going to defend top for me so that Yorick doesn't get towers. I'm not sure if... Uh, Sona used her ultimate, actually. I'm not so sure about that. I'm just going to assume that she did, so I'm not going to jump on her. It'd be kind of too risky. Hmm, still there. Sure. I I think he's not gonna walk in. I'm just gonna take it already. Like w once you play against like so many Twitch players, you can kind of tell like what they will do. Twitch is just gonna play safe all day. I'm pretty sure. Until he gets like an opportunity, right? Okay, let's get the Kino gem right now um we're gonna be going for black lever because that's what they need against yorick and i think that next item is probably going to be a death stance and that would allow us to 1v1 yorick without issues i'm pretty sure like riffin outskills the yorick pretty hard it's just a matter of time let's get all of this um there is going to be a fight in mid lane but i don't have Right. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty massive one. Yorick is going to push top lane. That's what all Yorick players do. So, mid is pressuring. I want Mr. Chun to go top. We're going to... We're going to get Yorick down here. Like, Yorick players always split push. That's what they always do. <laughs> I'm stuck completely. Oh, I missed the sound on accident. Whoopsie. I kind of trolled it. Uh, I kind of trolled it. I got stuck in the wall. I tried to, like, throw Q out, but I was unable to. And then I accidentally not get the stun off. Whoopsie. That's not what I intended. But yeah, Yorick is kind of Yorick is the kind of champion that basically uh, split pushes like all day and always pushes and never plays out the game. Uh, it's kind of it's, it's it's a joke. Um, that's gonna get pushed in. I actually want to see if I can get like one more wave. I think he might actually TP, which I'm fine actually with. Let's see. He's not going to TP. No, he's not going to TP. Oh, that's pretty good. 
I could probably take like one more wave and then go back after. I'm pretty sure Yoke is going to show up here. No, he's mad. Okay. Hey, wh wh what? <laughs> what is he doing? He's running from my jungler. <laughs> he just jumps into me. I wasn't going to check this uh, displays, man. I would never f face check something that I cannot see, but he just jumped straight into me. So he had no vision. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go ball lane. So my team is already going ball lane. Kind of. Hey. Good evening, Eve. I love when Eve players show up after you use a plant. Like, they generally don't expect it. That's the fun part. <laughs> Always the fun part. Not bad. He's in there. <laughs> yeah, we are getting pretty massive now. We're 6 now. I don't want to get stuck in there. Got stuck in the wall again. Like, it was kind of unexpected. Uh, they have an Eve, so... I don't want to go too insane here, but... Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Got my Goichinko ready for that one. Um, our jungler is actually coming over here. Alright, it's on the back off. I need, I need to get stopwatch, man. We're gonna get a distance and then stopwatch. Awesome. Hey, chat. You guys wish you had a solo key game instead of going own 20 bot. Yeah, completely understandable, man. <laughs> you see, I'm not that lucky all the time. I mean, it's my team is not really like popping off in this game or anything. They they do pretty well, but they're not exactly like popping off. But I understand what you're talking about. I understand it. Ooh, nice try. He's pretty strong though. I think he's gonna pass through here. Yeah. All right, he's dead. So once again, the Yorick is down. Good. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, oh, actually, we can get another catch here. I'm pretty sure we can. There's a Kiana over here. We can actually push mid right now. I want to get a rip off too, but... It would actually be pretty good if my team is going to, you know, push, uh, push mid right now. But Baron is fine too. Because I think we could have probably dived the Twitch into Sona pretty easily. And if they don't, you know, force, we could... Oh, not bad. We could actually, like, dive them away to force a tower, but whatever. This is fine too. It's not bad. I want to see if I can 1v1 Yorick now. I'm definitely stronger than him. Let me see what's going to happen. Oh, Sona's overextending. She's dead. Two kills for me. That's a perfect flank right there. I kind of had this feeling like Sona was going to overextend that... Eve was nearby. <clears throat> what is this? Where is this? Oh, he's there. Sure. Okay, we're getting tower. Pretty good. Let's see if I can uh, start up another fight. I could have stopped watch ready. Okay. Sure. Let's get this uh, camp over here. Is he recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm recording. 
This game is going on YouTube. This game is going on YouTube, man. It's being planned out. Um, Drake spawns like 10 seconds right now. There's a Kiana over here. What's he doing? Trust <laughs> like 1v9 my team? What's he doing? Ah! <laughs> uh, you know, you can, um, if you press E, you can then, like, do it like this and have no animation, right? So you, you press E in advance, you press RQ. But if you don't do it properly, like, you're gonna, you're gonna get stuck. And uh, that gave him the time to, like, run away. <clears throat> Whatever. I want to go take this one. Nice, not bad. I think that this is probably where the game is gonna end. Ah, we got him. So yeah, Yorick matchup, in my opinion, not a fun matchup. It's one of the more counter matchups. It's Actually, I, I totally hate playing against Yorick. It's not fun at all. I've never enjoyed playing against uh, Yorick in all of my games before. Um, because the champion is like designed to counter Riff and it's not very fun. Um, but the good thing is like you outscale the Yorick anyway, so it's not it's not too bad. But uh, you just gotta survive if you don't have a Jonger. So. Either way, uh, before we end off today's YouTube video, um, same thing as always guys the entire game has been played live on stream guys make sure to check out the link below the youtube video if you want to see it but uh thank you for watching today's youtube vid see you next time peace